So one of the things I'm always working with with students is trying to identify the difference between a fault and a characteristic. And I believe there are certain fundamentals, of course, that we have to abide by in the golf swing, but also there are characteristical differences. Now, characteristical differences can be anything from grip, obviously posture, your DNA and your general set makeup. Um, but more in particular, when we come in towards the downswing in the post impact position, there are often differences in the release type. And the reason for this is again, because of grip, but also sometimes rotation. So we see some golfers that really open up the body more. They possess the ability to keep the arms straighter. Certain golfers don't have as much upper body rotation and they have more of a tendency to bend their arms a little bit. And it is trying to identify whether that's a fault or a characteristic, because sometimes you can end up wasting time. And I see that a lot with people that reach out for lessons. Hi Russ, reaching out for lessons. I've been trying to work on this, trying to get better, and it has no context. There's no need to change it, it becomes a waste of time, and it just ruins your golf because you're becoming sort of consciously incompetent. You're trying to change something that doesn't need to change, and it's just an absolute waste of time. But what I wanted to do is talk about something that I think will make a big difference, and it did make a massive difference to me. And I remember having lessons when I was younger and taught very much conventional stuff. I was taught, you know, ball position has to be central or just left of central. Tuck this foot in, square hips, completely square shoulders, square feet. And I remember feeling just the whole time just confined. And the strange reality was when I did these things, it just it made sense on paper. It was like, yeah, okay, it makes sense to aim completely parallel. Yep, fine, okay, I get it. But I hit the ball much worse and I lost distance. And once I started to learn more about the golf swing through learning about biomechanics and stuff, I started to identify actually, you know, there's a rhyme and reason why I want to play the ball further forward. There's a rhyme and reason why I like my left foot flared out. And there's a reason why I quite like my hips slightly open at dress. And that's what I want to talk about. So first thing is your ball position is relative to your low point. So if you're somebody who is kind of scoopy and flicky, you're going to want to put the ball further back. But if you're somebody who's scoopy and flicky and you don't want to be scoopy and flicky, then start progressing and test yourself by moving the ball further forward. Now, personally speaking, I have the golf ball located inside my lead ankle. And many of the greats have, and I'm not saying that I'm great, but there's many golfers, Nicholas Hogan talks about ball position being further forward. Now, from this position, the reason why my left foot is also flared forward is because it's in a position where it doesn't inhibit my rotation in the backswing, but pivoting around this left leg or turning the pelvis into this leg and rotating behind the ball was simply the most liberating thing that I've ever done. So what I do, and this is what I sort of want to talk about, and we'll go into more detail if you guys are interested in this, but what I do is I actually don't aim completely square. Uh, towards my target, I am slightly open. So I have my lead foot, that's open, but I actually mean I also stand slightly open towards the target. And the reason for that is because it helps me gain confidence on introducing more shaft lead. I prefer playing golf that way. A lot of students that I work with aspire and they want to play golf more that way. And I personally think it's a good thing to do. If you can kind of learn how to hit the golf ball this way, it's a really solid feeling. You know, it's kind of similar to what you'd find with a lot of other sort of side on sport actions. So. First unconventional thing is the foot position. Second unconventional thing is potentially the ball position. Third unconventional thing is that my feet and hips are slightly open in the address position. It helps me level off, right? Instead of being too tilted, opening the hips a little bit helps me feel like I'm over the golf ball, okay? Again, it doesn't inhibit my backswing. From here, taking the club back, rotating around that left leg, getting the feeling of the pelvis moving back away from the target as my hands go through, really gives me that ability to control that impact area and feel like I'm able to guide my hands towards the target without that sort of concern of the club overtaking it too much. And those are the sort of things that you guys need to keep an eye on. So yes, there are certain things that we need to try and do in the golf swing. Like I said, fundamental things. But having your shoulders maybe slightly open, a little bit of shuffling at a dress, slightly open with your stance, I personally don't see anything wrong with that as long as it doesn't become too exaggerated where it's inhibiting you. So I'm hoping that this does a couple of things. One, it gets you questioning about what you're actually working on and the reasons why. That's the big thing, context. Why are you working on the change? You know, I meet a lot of people that my ball striking is not great and I'm working on something over here. It's like it has no influence. But the second thing is liberation. Yes, in the golf swing, predominantly, I spend most of my time teaching golfers how to rotate correctly so they can introduce more shaftly and because I think that's the best way to move and I think it lends itself to consistency. So 
practicing those things will lend yourself to much more success as well. So hopefully this is a liberating experience, makes you stop probably thinking about things maybe so sort of in a square box sort of thing and just sort of help you learn that actually, if you can learn how to rotate, experiment when getting those hands further forward, you're just gonna have a much, much better golf game in my opinion, from my experience, but also from my students. See you soon.